Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I've got my Shadol Invoked combo. As I said in my last video, I'll showcase it to you. I didn't want to showcase it in the last video, just in case the video got a little bit too long. So, I hope you enjoy. Um, obviously, you'll need Alice the Invoker, Shadol's Commander and Damage Juggler. So any way to get to Alice the Invoker and any way to get free Shadol Wendy, Damage Juggler, you got to have in your hand. And two random cards, which are in this case Terraforming and Shadol Fusion. Um, if you get Trick Clown in your first hand, which is what you get off of Damage Juggler, then it's no biggie. Um, you can just add Hat Trigger instead to discard off of Alice the Invoker of Madness. I'm just saying all this now so that I've said it during the combo. Um, but if you get both, well then, have fun. But anyway, let's start off with the combo. So you're going to normal summon Alice the Invoker and get Alice the Invoker's effect to search Invocation to your hand. Next, you're going to activate Invocation, fusing Damage Juggler and Shadol's Skormata to make El Shadol Construct. Now you're going to get Skormata and Construct's effects to first send, if I can find it, Reach Shadol Wendy. And then you'll be sending Resh Shadol Incarnation. Now you'll get Reach Shadol Wendy's effects to set Nail Shadol Ariel to your field. Now you can link summon with El Shadol Construct and add to the Invoker of Madness to make Cross Sheep. Now you activate the you can activate the effect of Resh Shadol Incarnation, banishing it along with El Shadol Construct to flip up El Shadol Ariel. You'll get El Shadol Ariel's effect to summon out El Shadol Construct. You're gonna get Cross Sheep's effect and El Shadol Construct's effect. Just to keep in mind. It doesn't matter if you summon Squamata or Wendy, you just summon one of these two. It depends on what you add off of your Hedgehog, off of your um, next Construct. But you'll be able to fit in Construct Effect to send El Shadol Fusion to grab that layer. So as I was saying, Wendy or Squamata, it doesn't really matter what you summon. It just depends on what you add off of Hedgehog later. So you just add the opposite one. Um, that way you can make Wendy, um, Wendy on your opponent's turn. I mean, sorry, Winder. Just to let you know now. But we are going to be Link Summoning again into Alice the Invoker of Madness, which requires two monsters with a different type and attribute. Specifically, Cross Sheep and El Shadow Fusion do not share either of them. So we are good to do that. And we'll be getting El Shadow Construct Effect to add the El Shadow Fusion. Now you can activate Form of Power Damage Juggler's Effect. Kept, kept, for, th I kept thinking I for, was forgetting a step. Sorry about that. To add Full Mage Trick Clown. Now you can activate El Shadow Fusion using El Sh um, Full Mage Trick Clown with Nail Shadow Aerial, if I can pick it up, to make your next El Shadow Construct. Now you can get Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, Chain Link 3. So you summon out Trick Clown, Invoke of Mandis, discard your random card. So in this case it was Terraforming. To add an Invocation. And then Construct's effect to, like I said earlier, send Hedgehog to add um, either Wendy or Squamata. And since we have Wendy on the field, we will be adding Squamata. Like I said, if you if you summon out Squamata instead of Wendy, then just add the Wendy. One other thing, with Alice in the Invoker of Madness, with this part of the combo, if you already have Invocation in hand, do not worry about discarding any of your cards to actually add Invocation in hand. I mean, two hands, sorry. Um, if you don't have both of them, and then you add, and adding the third one off of um, Alice, in the Alice in the Invoker, then obviously you have to discard one card in your hand for one of your um, for one of your invocations. But if you have one of them in your hand, then don't discard it. Just keep it in your hand and just don't activate Alice in the Invoker of Madness's effect. Just to let you know. Anyway, carrying on, we'll be activating Invocation. Just to make just to make sure this doesn't look like a spell card. Or any spell or trap in the spell trap soon. To banish El Shadow Invoker and El Shadow Construct to make your invoked Mechaba. Next, you're going to get El Shadow Invoker of Madness effect again to discard your other ran random card to add your third copy of Invocation. But you're going to save it for now. 
because you're going to link Alice the Evoker of Madness, El Shadow Construct, and perform a strict clown off for a summon of Appaloosa Bow of the Goddess. Now, Appaloosa will now gain three counters. Obviously, it doesn't gain counters, it gains attack points, but we just put counters just to signify, oh, hey, there's so many attack points it's got and stuff like that. They just make life easier. Now, you're going to get Construct's effects to add to your hand from the graveyard your El Shadow Fusion again. Why don't you just set that now? Because you don't really need it. Then you're going to activate Invocation. Now you're not going to go for another Mechaba, so you have two negates on your opponent's turn, or five, sorry. You're going to go for a Dark. I mean, you're going to go for Alice in the Invoker of Madness and another Dark. This is because you're going to be summoning out your Invoked Kalaga. The reason why I choose Invoked Kalaga is because of the fact that you've got Invoke Kalaga and Mechaba on the field now. So if your opponent activates a monster effect and you negate and banish it with Mechaba, they now have no more monster effects until Kalaga leaves the field, which is brilliant. So now, to end off the turn, you're pretty much going to send Invocation back into the deck to add back the Anister Invoker. Alistair the Invoker, sorry. And now you end off with a Tormata, as the Invoker in hand, and Appaloosa Bow the Goddess. Wendy, Kalaga, Mechaba, and Ushal Fusion. Now the way to get to um, now the way to get to Winda is on your opponent's standby phase. You're going to be activating Ushal Fusion. It's so good because it's a quick play spell to fuse your Skamata and your Wendy. Now obviously, um, with other people they don't actually summon out Kalaga, so you can get Skamata and Wendy's effects, but. In my eyes, I just wanted to actually get to this board instead of having some more effects go off. Because obviously, the locking your opponent out of summoning, um, especially summoning more than once per turn, is good. But I just like to lock them out of monster effects as well, which is very, very nice. Anyway, so this is the full board. Um, obviously, one hand track could probably screw this combo over so hard. That's why I've actually added in the... That's why there's the addition of Appaloosa. If this deck wasn't as fragile, I, would, I wouldn't I would have Appaloosa probably. But I do, because it's... Like, I find it easy to make, that's the thing. So I was thinking, why not have Appaloosa Bow of the Goddess in the deck, just in case. Because um, it's easy to make Appaloosa and Mechaba through hand traps. You just can't get these two onto the field. Or you can make these three, but not this, through hand traps. But you can't make this through hand traps, as far as I'm aware of with my own deck. But if you have any suggestions of how to make this deck a lot more stronger and um, how to make sure I don't get screwed over by any side deck card, I would love your opinion. Like two sets of Solemn Judgment or something like that to so stop any evenly match or something like that. Um, it would be greatly appreciated and I would love your feedback, feedback on this combo. I um, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time.